Hi, I'm Karen Simmons with Bag Ladies Art. Our bundles that are out right now are many, and we hope that you are visiting Bag Ladies Art at Etsy.com. But today, I'm going to show you our Flower Power bundle. You have seen Cindy and I present it, and this is the way you would get the bundle with the tool around it and all of your different projects and journals and papers and fun projects inside it. But I know when you get these things, you think, I love every one of these, and oh, look at this, oh, look at that. Now what do I do with it? So for this bundle, I'm gonna to try to show you what Cindy and I have put inside each of these journals and projects and made it fun. Whether you're doing this yourself or you're doing it with your child or your grandchild, I want it to be so that you say, oh, I know what we're gonna do on this, or let's watch this video and we can do these things too. So let's watch this for a few minutes and see what happens and um, see how you like these things. I'll tell you, there's so much in here. I do wanna tell you that I have pre-done some of the bundles, and what I want you to know, I'm gonna also show you how I did them. I used everything that came inside this bundle. I mean, you're getting such cute things like, you know, this little basket, but inside is an actual seed packet that what I would do immediately would be to put the seeds somewhere or, you know, plant them outside, whatever you wanna do, then slice this top and you have a nice um, little paper to use inside your journal or use it as a pocket you know glue it down you have the top open make it into a little pocket and you can put um, a little tag or something in it it becomes part of your journal but those are the things I kind of want to things like that I want to show you um, how to use the other thing I was amazed at is you get a little packet of these um, little tissue papers and you cannot believe these these are black and white of birds there's some of flowers you know um just it, they are adorable but they also have then color prints on on them of flowers and birds and and plants and they are you just can't believe in fact they look like this when you unroll them they're three times bigger than this i've used so much of this already and look at the birds um in color and you're gonna see how I use these in a few minutes and I'll even use more of this and, um, and and here's the small piece I have left of one of the ones that had all the flowers on it and I'm gonna show you how I use that so I'm just gonna move this for one second because I want to pull it out again to show you um, some some other things that are in the packet so that you can say okay here's what I'm getting and here's what we did with it for instance you know this packet started with April showers bring May flowers and so if you look um, you're gonna get an eight a little umbrella and it's gonna be not have anything on it at all it's ready for you to create in a million different ways but here is what is so cool we have made homemade markers for you to use and they come in different colors and they are the creamiest fun wonderful markers you've ever seen and at first you know we were like okay let's decorate our umbrella and I'm like with these markers and the cool thing is they're the best thing I ever used to make this cool umbrella so if you look at how the umbrella is finished now using these markers is that the cutest thing you've ever seen in your entire life. I mean, you could use this for, you know, a little table display or in a present that you're giving somebody. It's just so cute. And using these markers, they're creamy and fun and cool to use, and you are just gonna love them. And they are on this little, give you like little keychains that they're on, so you won't lose them. And they're all have little tops on them. And I do wanna tell you that what you're gonna find is when you're using them, you're gonna be like, oh, I get how this goes now. As I put these on, they're like, they make, you know, they're like, they're almost like wet, almost like creamy little dots I'm putting around them, and they look just pop. I mean, and all the colors make it pop. And of course, because this is flower power, we did a lot with, you know, making flowers and, you know, the little insides of the, I mean, I could keep decorating this umbrella until, midnight but i'm gonna um put it aside now because i just want you to see it get an idea because one thing we want you to know is we try to give you every single thing that you're going to use inside um your bundle to to work on your projects and um the only thing you're not getting is some glue stick that um that I keep right here and anything that you want to use as far as if you're going to use watercolors or paints 
Um, you know, sometimes in some of our bundles, like the beach bundle, you're going to get homemade watercolors. But if we don't give them to you for this, you can use what you have on hand, crayons or colored pencils. Let me show you some of the really cool journals that are in this flower power. I love these and I got carried away last night with this. This is the handkerchief journal and um, it's with a handkerchief and also with an embroidered bird where we give you um, your whole journal comes with all this cool paper. Let me show you the half I did not do, but I wanted to, but I had to stop myself last night and say, okay, really? You're gonna show them this and you're gonna have the whole journal done, but I wanna show you kind of how we do different things with this and there's all different ways. And so let me just show you that you go through and we give you so, a lot of, you know, like, um, very nice like watercolor or Bristol paper or scrapbook paper and all different kinds even um, you know some grid paper and you're just gonna find a million different things what's really cool is we give you some this is pineapple paper and some um, some other paper kind of that looks like this that has almost the flower petals right in it I'm gonna push this over here a little bit so because now I've got everything crowded up okay and so I want to show you last night I took this flower page and I bent it back and I made it into a pocket so that things could go in here use some washi tape on each side to close that pocket but I thought it looked so cute over here I wanted to show you how we journal in these books and also I started collaging and then this one I kind of left the way it was I did um as Dina Wakely calls it, pox it a little bit, and um, just throw some paint because I just, I like the way the colors come out like that. I used a little bit of watercolor or scribble sticks just to give some color, but then I went a little crazier on the next page, and I really, um, this is the way our pages look. I mean, this is what art journaling is all about. It's all about layering different things on pages and having a focal point, but you know, on also places where you could, I could actually journal right down this, this page. And I also used, you know, scribble sticks from Dina Wakely that are, I, I use those going around and I would write around those circles maybe. Um, I just, I mean, I could work on this. This is actually a napkin, and I want to show you some of these things that you could do. So, um, and look at this. I made like a tip in on this page that you can write under here, but you wouldn't see it. I just started this page. It's not these two pages. I just I put this in because I wanted to say, um, okay, I want to use this here. And then you're getting this little clip that has a little flower on it. I, I can't love this journal more and all the things that you can put in it. But I'm gonna find like. Um, Here's a, a nice clean page that we could start with. I just want to give you an idea of how you can use things, everything that we've given you. And when I say all of the things I've done so far in this journal, we gave you. We gave you um, a napkin. And let me show you, when you get a napkin, I already took, it. this one was three ply. I took the back one off and I thought, okay, I'm ready to go because it looked like I was back to where I could use the napkin. No, no, no. Look at this. There was a second ply. You want it down to the very top of that napkin. And all of you, we gave you flower napkins to use. Now, a lot of people like to um, cut around their, you know, fussy cut around their napkins. A lot of put, people put water around the picture and they just, for right now, for quick purposes, because these, I just want to show you really quickly how this could go. And this is going to go down here. Now, I do want to say one thing. When I use tissue paper or napkins, anything kind of see-through or thin like a napkin or textured kind of like that, I do use a, um, a matte medium. I am, and I, I keep a matte medium on hand and I've been using it. So of course it's not gonna be right out where I can put my hand on it, but oh yes it is, I see it now. Okay, so I use a matte medium um, and it's, it's called a gel medium. And you know what's really funny? I finished the gel medium last night. So now you're watching me. See, that's why making a tape is so much fun. You never know what's gonna happen. But here's the gel medium we use. It, this is um, by Dina Wakely. There's a lot of different gel mediums you can use. You don't have to use this. You can take your glue stick and put glue stick on the back of this napkin in one half of a second, and this is gonna work perfectly. Um, 
and then you're just going to lay it down in your book, flatten it out a little, see where you want it, and, um, and it's going to look great. Now remember, I'm kind of using sticky fingers for this right now, but I'm just trying to show you ways that you can get started in your book. If you do use the, um, the matte medium, you're doing it a little differently, and it's like a glue. And I like it for these kinds of things because then you go right over the top with it and it kind of really, you know, secures it. And um, I put it on the bottom of it and then on the top also. And if you buy a, a small, you know, a jar of this, it, it lasts a long, long time. I mix it up. I use glue stick for something. But look, I, what I really think is that this just gives it that kind of finished look and, um, you know, it... it it just makes it look really great. The rest of this page, and of course, here's some tissue, which again, a thinner one, and I might, you know, put this on with um, with that matte medium again for be doing it quickly, which is never a good idea because I want to show you so much and I want to keep moving, but um, I'm going to use glue stick for it. And believe me, in many of them, I've just used glue stick. And I started this to get it done. And then after that, I'm telling you that we have given you, and there goes my video, have given you so, so many different papers that you're just not going to believe that you're going to always have extra papers to use to put down in your book. So, you know, and you can just tear them, take a little piece, and um, put some glue on the back. Put it in here. I'll leave some of this white. And the other thing I use a lot of is like um, just old books. You know, any old books and you want to grab a page and you want to tear some of that, you can put some of that on. When this is dry, and I'm going to go back to um, where mine is dry over here. An another neat thing that you can do is you can just take some... Um, watercolor, if you have some watercolors at home. If not, I mean, you can use a, a little of anything. You could use some crayon, you can use some, but I could put some watercolors on here and give this page, you know, some extra color. Now I'm putting it on a page that I already have done just because I know it's completely dry and I don't like to continue working on pages that maybe, um, and I like to let it drip into it and, you know, just, it's, you're decorating it to be your own. But these are the kinds of things, you know, that we would do. And then we would find like a little um, focal point that we wanted to use. And like this one has, and it's really cute. And it, and all of these come in your journal is what I, I can't get over your whole bundle. But look at this. I might take this little car and put it right here and that would be my focal point for here and then maybe I'm going to write about a road trip or you know something like that so I just want you to be able to um and I do like to rip them and I'll tell you what else I like to do sometimes if I don't want it to just look you know plain like that around the edges this is one other thing that I would say that if I was buying anything and this is from Tim Holtz these are completely different and these are little um they're called the stress inks and then there's this little dabber and you can change the dabber according to, you know, the, like the colors that you're using and what you're going to use it for. I'm going to use the same one here and hope that, yep, it's going to come because the other part was dry. But you go around the edges of your picture. This I could do all day. Trust me. I am like, I love making the little different focal points that are on here. I love doing them. Um, and having them kind of look old timey and um, and just have a cool little border on them. But I definitely would take this. And do you love how I'm just throwing my stuff all around here and don't know where anything is now? And I would take my glue stick. You know, it's so funny. I made this last night, the video, and it came out perfectly. I mean, it was perfect. There wasn't one thing that I would have said I would have done differently but I hadn't finished all these pages. And I thought, you know, before we've shown you what to do, but you really didn't see what it looked like 
So I'm going to put this little car over here in this corner. You didn't really see what it looked like with it, with it totally finished or other things that you could do with it. So, I mean, baby, I love it. It's so, so cute. And so there's your handkerchief journal. And I mean, I could go on and on and show you tip-ins and pull-outs of pages and different things that you could put in it. But I think that's a, a good start to see kind of how we do um, many of our journals. Now you're gonna have a second journal. This, this bundle, this particular Flower Power bundle has so many journals in it and fun projects. And remember that everything that we use, look, even inside this one, more papers that I didn't pull out. I pulled them out from all the other areas so that I could use them inside the journals as I decorated. Here were two tags. And last night, while I was making this, I ended up taking um, some acrylic paint. Now, people are like, you know, I'm doing this sometimes for people who have never done this. If you go to any of your local art supply stores, you can find acrylic paint in all different prices. I mean, they are not, there are many that are very cheap. And for your everyday doing your art journal or working at home with your grandchild or your child, this acrylic paint is, is perfect. There's all different kinds. And I put a little bit on a, um, on a paper plate and then I started just doing, um, well, flowers actually, but I did, you know, like a little water down here. I didn't mean it to be water. I just started decorating. And when I was done, I thought, oh man, I love that. That came out great. Then I started collaging. And so then you can paint with these acrylics also. You know, it's all about, I could sit here all night, believe me, it's happened, I'm sorry to say, and, um, and do and create. And then we took stamps and just um, stamped this a little bit, but um, it gives it that color. And then as that finishes up, and you can always blot it on the other side because whatever you're, you're putting out, and this acrylic really dries quickly if you just keep it light and the same way with your watercolors. And then on this side, you could journal about your day, about your week, about your vacation. You could put little pictures. There's pullouts in this that I think make it so cute. So you're adding other things to it there. There's also little places that are, have openings here. And we have put all of the background paper inside your journal. So when you get it, it's looking just like this. Then here's more papers that you can use. I mean, we have given you everything to decorate and make it. And I wanna show you that also, the second thing I'll do is, I will make my own then using another file folder. This was just the manila one that I had extra at home. I made the same one like this, but then I just added my own things. And I do want to tell you that one of the things that I added in this one, and this could be like a pop-up where you would write things in it, but one of the things that I added in this one, and I'm going to take this one and move it like over here, I think, but is that we took, you can use um, just like little old gift cards, and instead of using your brush, you can get some um, paint on your gift card. And then I did the whole journal first by just going with this gift card like this and putting color all over. And I used the whole, I, j I just put it on the very edge there of the gift card, if you can see that. And then kind of just, you're scraping on the color just to give color. And if you look at every page on here, you're going to find, um, you're going to find that. You're going to find that it has all the different colors and they've all been put on. And I'm going to lay this up here in case I want to use it to um, journal on. So all kinds of papers and openings and places that things pop out, some butterflies on here, circles that we wrote around and more journaling, a butterfly that pulls out. And you know what? To do these things, you're going to learn to keep everything. Um, my husband and I went down to Key West and we went to the Butterfly Conservatory and uh, voila, they gave you this little butterfly and here it is right here now. There's both sides of it and it's it's perfect for this. I attached it to a tag and now it's the little pullout for this journal. But 
I took um, the scrapbook paper that came in the bundle and cut out the flowers and just put them in some of the corners. And then um, I stamped, okay? I just took some um, stamps. The stamps I like, honestly, I have certain stamps I love. This has like the alphabet on it. And I just, remember I told you about these distress inks. So I just take the distress inks. I put them like all over the place on this alphabet one. And then it's not like I have to have the whole alphabet here. I just like, like a little bit, um, one here as I press down and then you get to see it like some of it pop up and if I put a little over there I might put a little more over here and then um, and then there was the stamp and there um, is what I stamped on it so if you have any stamps you might have the other kind of stamp that just is on a block um, of wood and you can stamp with that it's it's just all fun it's all creating so stenciling stamping painting them whatever way you want to do it but if you think about it we really kind of paint the background collage it add some color and then you're ready to journal i, I love this one also i mean and so i have a couple of the of the same one another um journal that we happen to have in this is our little clutch and in the clutch journal, we give you to tie it and keep it closed is this sorry ribbon. This ribbon is probably, since we found this and saw this, we have bought it in every color. And you can get it in skeins of like tied together different colors. You can see this tan goes into this like rose color. And they have every color you can ever think of. And again, it's not terribly expensive, but we gave you a long, long piece so you can use it in tags that you're making or anything that you're using, okay? And as I open it, you're not gonna believe that this clutch is made from a bag. It started with one bag. Can you see the bag inside here? And then we just covered that bag and folded it up, making a little clutch um, journal. And, um, this is also cute. I mean, each page we added, and this came in my bundle, these little, this little plant, and so I put that. We gave you really nice paper, um, some that looks, you know, like almost dyed paper, and so that's inside your journal. I did start another one, and because I wanted to play in it, and so I started one that looks like this, and it's the same. It's made the same way. If you look inside, there's that bottom part of the bag and then um this I t did every page where I went around it with that little dabber again and made each page have that look and you keep it right on the edge there it changes the whole look of your journal and then um started to add like I started to journal in it and I would do this page also I just wanted some things started so we could show you um what we do and in nine times out of ten it's more like we will um collage like this and then we will add some color right now I'm going to go back to the um some watercolors here and so then we'll go back to adding some color and it it's a neat thing because you could add some water and you can add it um, like this and put enough on it and what it'll do is it'll come it'll come dripping down and um, and and you just you're adding color to your page and then you can let that dry and the other thing that we do use that you don't have to, you can use white paint actually, but we sometimes use something called white gesso and we'll use it to put it on our, um, I'm gonna use like a, just a little tiny, um, it's like almost like a spatula, but it's, um, it's gonna be, allow me to put on some of this white. Now, because I'm doing this now, I'm not gonna be able to show you the whole process, but what it does is, you're gonna say, okay, you're putting it over the flowers and over the things. It gives it a certain look, you can still see through it, but also when this dries, you're gonna be able to paint on it and work with it. You'll still see some things through it and around it. It's gonna to add to your page. I just want you to see a little of everything that we use on our pages. And this white gesso is, 
it's like an acrylic but without the paint color in it and um and it was re it's really like a primer almost is the only way that i can that i can describe it and it um works really well in your journals when you want to paint you know around them and and over it and i don't want to do it now and i'm going to because that's just what i do and um as you can see it like it's gonna allow you to to have some color in it and to guide your page usually if i put like a little bit of color over here and i have it going over there and i like it mixing mixing with that white i actually really think that's cool and then i'm going to take another little color i've used that pink all right i'm going to put I don't know if I love that orange with it. So I'm going to just blend that in there a little bit. But I like it around like that. And I'm going to take that gesso and add a little co more color to it. Maybe some of that blue down here. And then, of course, the other thing um, that we use a lot, and it um, I know I have on this desk somewhere, here we go, is some is washi tape. And washi is comes in every color some of it has words on it some of this one says um this one says um oh make my voice strong and my spirit alive okay so i go for that and then that would go probably right on my page like that so, I mean, just so many things that you can do to your page. When this is completely dry, I could take one of my black permanent markers and I could make flowers all over it because this is a flower little clutch. Here, I just bent one of the papers back and it makes a pocket. And then, and you know what else I'm going to do? I'm just going to put this like this and let it, I do this a lot and I know that you know, it doesn't always work for me. But see, I like the way it, it gives you two sides of it and some of it comes over here. And then this is a little tip out and or a tip in. And then um, you can just use different things on your pages to make them come alive. This is all about you um, decorating. And this was a tea bag that um, I then opened, took out the tea after I um, had used it, and then just used the paper and put some stickers on it, but put that in as part of it. So, um, you know, we, you just, you have a lot of different options. You even get to finger paint. What more could you want? Anyway, I just wanted to give you some ideas of some of the things that we were giving you. The last but not least is our flower girls you can't have a flower unit and then not have a flower girl so here she is everybody gets a different flower girl they all look different and um also she gets a little she has a little bag around her neck with all kinds of stickers and um colored papers and little tiny flowers and things that you can use to decorate her dress like i'm looking at them now and the ones in the bag i think i would put all along the bottom of her dress it's all about creating and she has flowers in her hair so cute so of course then i had to make 50 more of these flower girls and i did really there i go remember how i told you about this tool that we wrap all of our units and our bundles in and um it's always a different color for every single bundle and we now have the um vintage travel bundle and that's wrapped in like white and we have the um the beach bundle and um and then we have this this flower power and they all have different colors on the bundles and they the beach bundle of course has mermaid um ribbon but what can you do with that well i have to admit that somebody else showed me this and i thought they were genius they use because we had said we want everybody to use you know some of their tool and think how you could use it so when they made their girl and there she is with her flowers in her hair they used, they cut off a small part of that tool, and then that made around her waist a cool little, little sash. Is that the greatest ever? And here's our, the other girl that um, we made. And again, now we use Dina Wakely stamps um, for the heads, and then we used a 
um, tag, a large tag, again, those were Dana Wakely tags, that we attached here, then drew a dress on that tag. And on this one, collaged and used acrylic paints, and when it dried, did flowers all over it. So there's your flower girls, and I just love them. And you will all get one flower girl already, and then you're able to do your own thing. Last, but not, and this is really last, but not least. Last thing I'm showing you is we gave you all pouches. And these pouches are, um, you're just going to undo it, but they are full of paper that you're going to use in your bundle. I put all of the paper out here on my desk because I was going to use it to do all of these bundles. I still have so much left you can't possibly believe it. And it would allow me to do all of these just different journals. We hope that you will have fun working in Flower Power Bundle. Please go to Etsy.com and look at all of our products. We have individual um, little journals there, and we have these bundles that are so much fun to use. All right, I hope you have fun and create. It's Etsy.com Bag Ladies Art. See you there, and have a great creative time.